So that video was me 10 years ago absolutely destroying my leg in a ski accident where basically I just completely missed the landing of the jump. And it resulted in four months in the hospital, 17 surgeries, five rods, 21 screws, and I didn't walk for two years. I actually brought some of this stuff. So these here are the x-rays of my broken leg after they put the whole thing back together. I had these two massive titanium rods put down the entire length of my tibia. A whole collection of hardware screws and a couple other chains up here. So they've taken a few of these titanium rods out and I know I have them somewhere. So before the end of this video, I'll find them and hopefully show you guys. I spent a pretty good amount of time walking around on this cane, but before I could get to that part, I had some crutches. And so I was thinking I could make crutches a whole lot more fun because my process going through that recovery period absolutely sucked and I think we can make it a whole lot better. And looking at the build of these classic crutches, this part right here, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to just Okay, well that ended up being actually a little bit easier than I anticipated. My brain was having a difficult time figuring out exactly how a pogo stick worked. So why not test one out? So now I just gotta figure out the exact mechanism of how this works and adapt it into the crutches so we can get extreme. That is a lot more tiring when you're 30 years old. Whew. So this is the design that I came up with for the pogo crutches. This barrel here is what is going to replace that center bar that we took out using the drill. And it's going to attach with one long screw across the top and then two smaller ones along the bottom. And then we'll have a six inch spring inside of there bouncing up and down. So now that we have the parts, let's go hit the 3D printers. So while those parts are going on the 3D printer, I think if we're gonna be making some extreme pogo stick crutches, we gotta have something more extreme looking than this classic crutch gray color. So let's find the perfect color that is gonna work for this project. I think yellow says a little bit too much caution. I would do blue, but I don't think I have quite enough in here. <laughs> I think this is the color right here. Really get your attention when you're hopping down the street. One, two, three, four pieces we need to paint. So one interesting thing about my leg is that I do have some injuries that stuck around after this whole 10 year process. My right foot is still actually mostly paralyzed. I've got a little bit of motion in my toes, but that's about it. So for driving, I don't have that pedal motion, so I actually drive with my left leg. When I get in the car, I just tuck my right foot back here, and then I use my left leg just as I would. But let us wait for those crutches to dry up, and hopefully we can start putting these crutches, pogo stick crutches together. The shaft is completed. Let's get this guy out of here. And pray to God that it fits. Here's that new barrel that I designed in Fusion 360 so that we could put together our pogo crutches. This should hopefully just come all together and connect using all of these different screw holes. Oh, the screw holes, that reminded me, I forgot I found them. Inside of this bag are all of the different screws that were in my leg at one point. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that just look like a screw you would get in the hardware store? That thing was inside of my leg as were all of these different ones. And then this guy is the titanium rod that went down the entire length of my tibia, which I still got one of these left inside of my leg. But I wanna turn all this metal into something. Leave a comment down in the description if you have any sort of idea of how I can use this metal for a brand new invention build. We have assembled a pogo crutch. <laughs> How's it looking, huh? Not too bad if you ask me. I think the white and orange combo is looking pretty good, but the official test, it definitely bounces. I've got the second crutch assembled. The only issue that I ran into, I didn't account for a little bit extra width when I was making the hole inside this 3D bracket. So when it goes up and down, it does scrape off all the excess paint. 
but overall it's not bad and there's only one thing left to do before we actually test out the pogo crutches in all of their glory. And of course that is to cast my leg in a real cast just for a little bit of clickbait. I did break my leg at one point, it's just not actually today that I broke my leg. All right, let's test it out. I think I'm already getting PTSD. I mean, they bounce. Am I getting extreme air? I don't know if I would say extreme air. But they're definitely moving up and down. I mean, they are incredibly annoyingly loud. But hey, they work, and I cannot say that for all of my projects. I also have no idea how to actually put a cast on. I mean, it's hard, but it's also kind of messing up the circulation in my foot. So I think I should do some online research and figure out how to get this thing off my leg. I'm gonna post all the official product photos over on Instagram. And for that, I think the pogo crutches are pogo-tastic. Remember to register to vote, and I will see you at the next invention, which actually might be political-themed, voting-themed, maybe, whatever. I'll see you.